one of the things that has really been fun lately for, for I think all of us is the beginnings of Octave Records. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we got a recording studio that we're starting to, to build. We're putting out some releases that are really amazing. And, yep. And, you know, Octave Records is just another extension of everything we try and do, which is to bring music to life. Yes. And, or life to music, you know, any, any way you want to put it. And if you can control the entire chain from the microphone all the way to your ear, that, that has some big advantages. And so you and I have been conspiring, mostly you, have been conspiring on building a microphone preamplifier. But tell us something about that. Uh, well, you know, I, so of course, like any other component, like, you know, audiophile components, for instance, um, microphone preamps vary in, in the quality and the, and the price. Um, manufacturers yeah. have to make profit on, on, uh, on selling their microphone preamps. And so, you know, uh, it takes, uh, you know, one that is still very expensive is very compromised with, within, within itself. So uh, you and I, what we want to do is we want to make an uncompromised uh, uh, microphone preamp that's up to the same level of what we would do in an extremely high-end audio, a high-end PS audio component. Mm -hmm. um, so, so uh, uh, we want to use uh, JFETs on the input for noise because mm -hmm. you you, def you certainly want low noise, uh, especially with digital recordings, um, and and then uh, a tubes for the output to handle uh, high, possibly high voltage swings um, before. Uh, having some sort of gain control, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, so, uh, so, yeah. And then also, I want to not have any, not use any global feedback. Um, why? I like the way I like the way no global sounds. Sorry, it, it's open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, it doesn't I, have that you know, restricted. I, I just uh, it doesn't measure better when you have global. Hell yeah, you know. Is it is it does it look better on paper? Hell yeah. <laughs> Does it sound as good? Uh, uh, not so much. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, you know, one of the things that I, I, I look at, and this is no um, poor reflection, because every company has their shtick. I mean, every engineer has his philosophy. And like high-end audio, the pro industry that makes these microphone preamplifiers for recording studios most of them are populated by brilliant engineering people who are going for the numbers. They're looking for the lowest distortion, the lowest noise. Yeah. And when I read these things on some extremely famous brands, it's just like it's just like in our industry. You've got engineers who are just great, mm -hmm. but their philosophy is if there's no artifacts, if there's no distortion, yeah. then you have a perfect product. And they'll talk about it. But but the see that that makes sense. Yes. Like that—that's the thing—is that they're not crazy. No, no, no. Like, they're not like crazy you, at all. you, you make you make, it, it makes complete sense to make something that has almost no distortion, sure. or maybe maybe no distortion. You know, like yeah. I, I, I have um, I've made some circuit topologies that literally even in in, in spice, it, it harmonics are down into like negative one eighty and stuff. You know, I mean, it's possible to do it. Yeah. How 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 do you do it? Like a lot of global feedback, and you can lower distortion so that you can't measure it. But here's the thing. Again, I, I, you know, I, I've talked. I don't know how, <laughs> you know, if if uh, if, I've, uh, if you've heard me say this before. But the uh, other parts of the chain are going to have a lot of distortion, and so making something that has necessarily minimal distortion isn't necessarily. It doesn't make sense on the system as a whole when you look at it as a system. It makes sense for that one component to minimize it. But the thing is, is that you're gonna you're gonna have distortion characteristics of of the microphones. You're gonna have distortion characteristics of the room, um, and 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 all of that. So so introducing something like global feedback, which makes a complexity in in how the circuit is designed, might actually compromise things because the yeah, thing well, that you're no very free lunch, right? Exactly. So the thing that you're very the thing that you're reducing, which is distortion through global feedback, wasn't even audible to begin with. Right. That's the problem. Yep. Is that you've lost you, you don't understand that the whole the system as a whole yep. 
has a lot more distortion than the very thing that you're focused on reducing. And so, and so it makes more sense to, to listen to the circuits themselves because they all have different sounds, okay? It's even accepted that different op amps have sounds. And that's even through lots of global feedback, which are taking lots of nonlinear out, a lot nonlinear distortion out of it. So you got to listen to the the actual circuits themselves. They all vary. You got to pick one that sounds really great and 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 open. And I think uh, introducing high amounts of global feedback limits you on on those type of topologies. Right. And so we could probably pretty accurately say that our goal with building this microphone preamplifier for Octave Studios mm -hmm. is to create something like we do with our circuits that just makes music feel, yes. I mean, just come alive. Right. That is the best way I can put it. And, and that's a goal that we're willing to sacrifice some measurements mm -hmm. over in order to achieve. Yes. Yeah, it's, you know... Uh, you don't think about the whole chain, the fact that the recordings are so much of it, the, the, uh, the medium almost is, uh, it doesn't even matter whether it's, whether it's vinyl or whether it's CD or whether it's SACD, it's, it's really about the recordings. Yep. And so this is why PS Audio has now, uh, we want to focus on the recordings as well and try to, uh, try to pioneer some, some recording techniques as far as doing the full signal path and then also having experts such as Gus Guinness come in and uh, and apply what he knows and so we're working together to make the whole chain the whole system okay like uh, again uh, you know we need to be thinking about things as the full systems yes. and yes. that's the key minimizing distortion in one particular component makes absolute sense you're not crazy mm -hmm. but on the full scheme of things it actually can hurt you yep yep so we will talk more about this in a day or so. All right. Okay. See you guys.